Technomancer with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna give you guys 12 tips to help speed off your iPhone. As you can see here, we have iPhone here and it's starting to slow down a little bit and we wanted to do this so you guys can also do it for your iPhone and hopefully it brings back the speed that you used to have and you're just experiencing some issues and it goes away. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for a phenomenal device like the one we're holding in our hand, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The very first thing you want to do ensure, to ensure that your phone is operating at the optimal speed is simply go into settings, and then go to general and then look for software update. So it's really important, especially if there is a new update out or if your phone hasn't been updated for a while that you update it because over time Apple discovers bugs and uh, software glitches, things like that and security fixes as well that can potentially slow down your phone. And if you don't update it to the latest iOS, you're still gonna be stuck maybe with a phone uh, that's slow. Of course, there is the other side where if you think your phone with the software update will be slow, like if you were to find that out, probably don't update it, but we usually go on the safer side to update the phone as that seems to fix any issues with the software that might be causing any sort of issues, especially when it comes to speed. That's first number tip one. Tip number two for you guys to speed up your phone is simply to check that your phone is not on low power mode. So when the phone goes under 20% or so, it gets a notification say, hey, do you want to turn on low power mode? And when you turn it on, there's the only way it turns off is if you charge it past 80%. And it's something if you were to have it on and you never charged it over 80%, it might be on for a very long time. So when that's on, it's gonna be giving you this message and you probably hit continue to for that time being. And the phone battery, as you'll see, turned into a different color. It used to be black, right now, as you can see, it's more of a orange yellowish mix. That means the phone is operating on the low power mode, which temporarily reduces all the background activities like mail fetch and things like that to help preserve battery, but it also slows down the phone because all of those things are not functioning in order to conserve the battery. But if your phone is now charged well and you don't really need it, make sure that is turned off. The low power mode, you want to turn that off. So. Tip number three for you guys, again, we're gonna be in the settings here. This time, what we're gonna do is go into location services under privacy. So settings, privacy here, and then location services, and go ahead and click on that location services. And what you want to do in this is actually start taking a look at all the applications that have access to be able to utilize the GPS on the phone. That's how this location services work, is that there's the GPS sensor, and each time that you the GPS sensor has to activate, do more work, that potentially can slow down speed of your phone. Just review this, and to make sure that, for example, if an app here has uh, that it's not using it, or it's always using, that's the one thing you want to look for, is that in the settings is that you want to make sure you turn off anyone that's that's using it all the time. So you want to turn that off because if it's using it and you're really not using it, just turn it off to never. And the other option probably be is that maybe ask next time or while using. Those things also kind of helps your phone. But you don't want any of these services, um, even in the system services, if there is a service that you don't really utilize, go ahead and turn that off here. And that's gonna help you guys a lot. Essentially, what we want to do is also turn off all of these settings that you're not using, especially around things like iPhone analytics. That's gonna be another thing that's gonna be going ahead and taking off a lot of uh, just being able to utilize the power. And because that happens, your phone starts to slow down. So make sure all of these are turned off if you're not really using, of course, keep like things like find my iPhone on because you want to make sure that is on. But for the most part, you can probably turn things off. If you need it, you can always come back and turn that at all. But if you don't want to touch those, these are the ones you probably want to turn off. Like these, for example, aren't gonna be quite useful. So take a look at your location services, find things that are turned on that shouldn't be using it, turn it to never, and that should hopefully help speed up your phone a little bit. For the next tip, number four for you guys, we want to do what's known as uh, clearing the RAM. So RAM is 
temporary storage for your phone like it is similar to where you use it for computers or laptops, right? That is a space that needs to be cleared out over time to help the phone refresh that uh, memory that it has. And to do that on a newer phone like the iPhone uh, 12 year that we have, we're gonna want to first thing to do is turn on Accessive assistive touch to turn that on you're going to go to settings accessibility and this time in accessibility you're going to go to touch and then you notice assistive touch you're going to go ahead and turn that on once you turn that on you'll get notice this pop-up thing where you now have a home button but if you have a physical home button you won't need to do that so if you're an older generation of phone that has a physical home button you won't need to do that but on a phone that has all screen uh, display you need to turn that on once you turn that on what you're gonna do is go back to the main screen here this time to do the clearing of the RAM you're gonna simply hold the side button on the right hand side and then the volume button on the left hand side at the same time and once you do that you're gonna get this pop-up menu and what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna slide it off to power off we're gonna want to click on activate that assistive touch and this time what we're gonna do is actually press and hold this home button until you get back to the home screen. So if you do that, you're gonna wanna keep on holding this till it gets to the home screen here. Just keep on holding it so sometimes your touch might not work you just want to make sure that you know you're pressing and holding for some time it could take sometimes 10 15 seconds and once you have done that click on multiple times here and this time if what would happen is if the thing work you'll see every app that you open up now it's going to refresh basically that will allow you to indicate the the cat the ram has been cleared we also did demonstrate this in another video make sure you guys check out that video more in depth so you want to clear the ram next thing you want to do to speed up your phone is we're going to go ahead and simply turn this off this time this time go back to the main settings again once you're in main settings you want to locate itunes so scroll down to your absence pretty much you want to look for itunes here so go ahead and find your app in itunes store and once you're here what you're going to want to do is turn this automatic download so you will don't want automatic downloads because what happens is when you do have automatic downloads it's going to be looking to download your on the background of things that you don't want for the app and that could potentially slow down your phone so you want to make sure that is toggled off tip number six for you guys so again we're going to be in settings again here this time you're going to want to look for safari so not news but safari so in safari here you're going to want to go down all the way to where it says clear history and website data what happens is over time when you're using the phone for a long time it builds up this data cache of website and history of everywhere that you've been and it sort of starts to block down the phone especially when you're using it for browsing you may notice it being really slow and this is one thing we want to do we want to go ahead and clear that it'll tell you that it's going to go clear your history cookies and other browsing data which is fine you can go ahead and clear and it will be grayed out and that means the clear has been successful and hopefully that also helps speed up your phone so tip number seven that we want to tell you guys is simply go ahead and take a look at all of your photos and videos and also apps that you have all right so what you want to do is go ahead and delete photos and videos especially videos on it that you don't need so to delete it for example you go ahead and delete here take a look at videos what happens is when you have a lot of videos and photos and you're looking to use the app right and you're opening up the photo app the phone takes a little bit more processing power to load that all that information up and another way you can check your phone storage is by going to settings this time you're going to go to general 
and then iPhone storage. When you click on iPhone storage, you'll notice that you have a certain capacity and how much you have been using. You want to go ahead and review recommendation and enable those recommendation and then also go ahead and take a look at apps that are taking a lot of space. And that's where our next tip comes in for you guys. Tip number eight basically is go ahead and review all these apps that you have. What you want to do is if you have a lot of apps, for example, apps that you don't use and they've been sitting around for a while and they're just taking up space on your phone, simply press and hold here and remove app. Click on remove app and then go ahead and delete that app. And it'll give you another thing. You can always download that app later, but this will definitely help, especially if your phone is really full because the, once the storage is full, you'll start to notice the phone just slowing down a little bit and it's just bogging down your phone. Next tip we have for you guys, tip uh, number nine is going into settings again. It's gonna be same thing here. This time we're gonna turn off motion and transparency. And to do that, you're going to simply go in to your settings. And this time we'll show you guys how to do that without actually narrowing it down. You can simply type in motion here and it's going to be an option under accessibility. You want to go ahead and click that. You can do it this way or go to accessibility and go there. And this time you're going to want to turn off reduce motion. So you want to turn that um, make sure this is actually, if you see it here, reduce motion, you're going to turn that on, not turn it off, turn it on. Because what happens is when you have this motion is that it's a fancy animation uh, that sort of slows down the phone a bit and you might not really necessarily need that. So go ahead, turn that off if your phone has having issue. We're not having a lot of issues, so we're going to leave that off, but make sure that is on. Along with that is another thing we know is transparency. Again. We're going to go into settings again, type in transparency here, and then it's going to be again accessibility under display and text. We're going to click on that. This time here, we're going to turn this on for transparent to reduce transparency. Again, the animation won't be there, but this will again help speed up the phone because motion and transparency are sort of animations that are unnecessary, especially if you have an older phone or a phone that just has a lot going on and need that extra bit of speed. Moving on to tip number 10 for you guys, gonna be background refresh. So what happens is in the settings, and if you go to general here, and then background app refresh, right? When this is on, what happens is when this is on, apps are constantly refreshing their data in the background, whether you're using Wi-Fi or cellular. And because this is turned on, it's doing a lot more work than it needs to and it's processing things on the back end. This also goes about reducing your battery. So if you're really looking to preserve your battery life, you want to go ahead, simply turn that off, not even put it on Wi-Fi or data. And this will turn all of these apps that you see that are constantly running in the background because that is, again, taking up speed off the phone for other things that you can use it for. All right, next tip number 11 for you guys is now we're gonna be turning off analytics. So to do that, right, over time what happens is your phone is constantly collecting analytics that it sends back to Apple or things like that, basically to improve the Apple device. And it's not really necessary. You don't have to opt in, but Apple likes to turn this setting on. But we wanna go ahead and turn that off. And to turn that off, we're gonna go to settings here, this time to general, and this time we're gonna take a look at right here where it says under privacy bottom here where it says analytics and improvements. As you see here, it is turned on by default. So if you buy a phone or if you never looked at this, it is on. We want to go ahead and turn that off. So we don't want Apple to, as you can see here, all these logs that have been generated has been sent. And these things take up space, first take up space and also on the background, it's running a program to collect that data. We want to make sure that is turned off and hopefully that also helps speed up your phone. Moving on to tip number 12, and this is going to be one tip that you want to do pretty much every couple of days or even every day is go ahead and close out all the running apps. To do that, you're going to simply slide up on a phone that's all, all 
all display it's going to open show you all the apps that are open as you can see when you have a lot of apps open some of the apps are actually running in the background doing things and you open up one app that you want to focus on all those other apps are running unnecessarily taking up that resources from the phone slowing it down so simply do this go up and then start swiping up so if you start swiping up here it will go ahead completely close all those apps once it close up and you try to do that again this time you see that animation that comes up that means there's no more apps that are open and lastly along with that you want to do what's known as the famous restarting of the phone phone is one of those things where over time you just don't restart it because you're constantly using it you need it on all the time but it's a good sometimes to just power that device on for a good minute and then turn it back on give that phone that refresh of the software being able to reinitialize and get everything back to it was just sort of giving it a break to do that on newer phone that has an iphone 8 or above you're gonna hold the side button on the right hand side and the volume up button press and hold here and once you do that you're gonna get power slide to power off you're gonna slide that all the way wait about a minute so it can fully shut down the longer the better and once you have done that go ahead and click on this side button here and it should power on by holding it just wait for the apple logo and it will be good to go another way to turn off your phone if those buttons are working go to the settings general this time you're going to go all the way down shut down click on that and then slide to power off and once you have done that hopefully that will go ahead and speed up your phone so hopefully these tips were helpful for you guys if these tips were helpful please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for for, for future tips and tips like this thanks for watching guys see you guys next time